Hi there students, I wanted to go over the instructions for the linkage mapping example I gave out last week. It's been a week so I generally let you guys work on it for a week and then I'll go over it and make a video of the material. So you've, you've seen, this is the same .doc file I posted on the website. So, so the first thing you want to do is you want to identify the parentals and these are the most common group of individuals and then you want to define parentals as number one and number two and then uh, pick one designation and stick to it so you got parental number one and parental number number two here they're the most common and then you want to identify the double recombinants these are the least common group of individuals because the chance of two recombination events is less than the chance of one recombination events so we have these guys there and then these guys there, okay, it's because that's only five out of, you know, it's the lowest number, five and eight. So then you want to determine what the middle gene is based on the phenotypic information. You can determine what the middle gene is based on the following analysis. First, list the parentals and the double recombinants in a table as shown below, and arbitrarily set recombinant number one and number two and you mind so the more you do these the less labeling and organizing you have to do you can kind of just visualize it in your head more often but for the first few times it's good to kind of go through slug your way through and just kind of go through the hard way and do, do everything so what we see here is we see that the parentals are red big and tall and parental number two is white small and short and then the double recombinants are red and big but short and the other double recombinant is white and small but tall. So therefore, you conclude that the middle gene is height, controlling height, because this guys, these are the guys that are moving and, and, and not segregating with the other genes. So they're not being like parental. So a double recombination event occurred. So this takes a little bit of mental manipulation because if you look at it here it doesn't pop as much as if you look at it there or if you look at it in this coloration so the coloration adds pop but eventually you can hopefully just figure it out when it's everything is the same color like here but here I even made it easier because the size I made the font capitalized in this font uh, lowercase so it was actually easier also to see by the shape of the and size of the letters used. But nevertheless, height becomes the middle because that's the gene that's moving around. So that's important. Okay. Once you know that, then you could reorganize the given information in an easier to digest layout. If the given information is already organized in an easy to digest manner, please skip this step. Now you identify the single recombinants and the and group them together based on similar amounts of observed individuals. So here and here, kind of one group, and then this is another group. So then you just reorganize it like that, and then you can label it. In the particular case when the single recombinant groups are um, close to each other then that means their equal distance between the middle gene okay that's a big thing to pick up if these guys were actually also 80 and 85 and not 27 and 30, 81 and 85 and not 27 and 30 here and here were actually the same as those guys then there would actually probably be more a closer there would be equal distance to the middle gene and in general the more recombinants you see single recombinants you see the farther distance from the middle gene is. So we just pick the single recombinant group one and we make the little table, added color to make it pop. <coughs> and, <clears throat> and we could see you just kind of visualize and look and see what gene is not segregating with the parentals. Okay, so big and tall are together, small and shorter together. Okay, that's normal. But then the red and white oh it's flip-flop so these guys must be recombining therefore we uh, add up these guys there so the gene that controls height uh, I mean coloration must be recombining 
So therefore, in this, in this, and that's where you get the numbers from there. So the total number of individuals that arose from a recombination event between color and height is 179. And now you just do that. A thousand cases, for example, and now you have color 17.9 height, but you definitely don't know what the height, the the distance between height and size is. And this orientation is also correct. Both configurations are okay. What is important is the distance between known genes is the same. <coughs> but we can already assume that size is going to be much closer to height based on the lower recombination frequency or based on the lower individuals that have that recombination event. So it's only 30, 27 and 30 versus 85 there. So we go, oh, you know, okay, it's going to be closer. So that's a little trick too. Okay, boom, boom. And then you do the same thing here. And now you could see that da, 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 coloration. Size is what's moving here. Tall and short. So... So it's hard to see here, but uh, you go ahead and just do that. So it must be 27 and 30. And then we got here, okay, height and size is only 7, because it's 27, 30 plus 5, and it makes 70. This is hard to see because we didn't reorder the genes. If we reorder the genes in the easier way to digest it, again, by just putting um, height, Let's do, let's actually do something like this. Let's split the cell. Yeah. Oops, I think I want two columns, right? Two columns, one row. And now to split the cell. Two columns, one row, split cell, two columns, one row, and then split cell, two columns, one row, kind of stretch it out. That looks much better. So now if I just put, oops, I like that. Hmm, copy here. Okay, hey, oops. Word is giving me a little trouble. I don't know why it's copying the whole thing. So if I put height in the middle, then I know size is going to be on one side. And then I get rid of this. And then now. Looks a little bit easier. Red, color, height, and then size. Okay, now look at it. Look at that. It's a work of magic. Now we can see big and small is changing compared to the parents. That was quite incredible. This very confusing. I even had trouble doing it, you know. And now when I did that, so the big trick is, once you know what the middle gene is, you know, back here, try to reorganize the information given to you like that's in the tables and put the middle gene in the middle so that was the big trick I wanted you to guys get and the professor went over it uh, in class and that works for any case that works when you're just giving descriptions like genotypes you know dominant recessive or giving phenotypes here it's always handy to reorder the gene uh, information given into an easier to digest manner so here now it's very clear. And then you add those guys up, and then now you see here, you add them up, 27, 35, 7. So it's distance between size and height is 7, 17.9. So as a fact, as a logic check, you go, okay, there's less recombinants, so therefore the distance must be closer, and there's more recombinants, therefore the distance must be farther. Both configurations over. Okay, so I've outlaid a systematic manner to deduce gene information based on reasoning. 
So it's cool, you know, it's pretty helpful. Hopefully this guy helped you, this information helped you master this stuff and you could just ace it on the exam and just knock it through. So good luck and as a challenge, you know, try mixing up the given information. You know, try mixing up this stuff here. This was a pretty hard example because it was very, very messy and you had to do a lot of reorganizing, but, you know, you can also use recombination and for this recombination information to find out about the parentals. If you don't know anything about the parentals, then, you know, then you can work backwards. So, so good luck and hopefully this helped out. Clarify things that we went over in class. Catch you later.